Hey, uh, how's it going? I'm Joe Tura, but I'm sure you already knew that. Uh, anyway, today's video, just going to show you how to install some mods for Baldur's Gate 3. Recently, I did a poll on my community tab for uh, my channel on YouTube, asking which video you all like to see next. Those of you who voted, uh, wanted to see a mod showcase. I just want to take some time, so in the meantime, before I finish that video, I decided uh, why not show you actually how to install mods for Baldur's Gate 3. So, First thing we're going to do is just Google Nexus Mods. I'll also leave a link in the description for easy use. And we'll go here. Mods. Now, Baldur's Gate 3 is actually pretty high up in the list. It's a pop popular game. Uh, but in the future, if it falls out of the popular game list, you can just go here. Type in Baldur's Gate 3. Then from the drop down menu, go to Games. And you can find it this way. All right. Next, we're gonna go. Uh, you don't have to sort by popular or whatever, but chances are, if it's highly endorsed, then it's probably going to be a decent mod. So that doesn't always mean that there aren't some that are fairly new that just miss some recognition. They can be pretty good as well. I uh, see. I already have uh, the mod fixer downloaded, but I'll show you how to do that. We're going to go to this uh, tab because I know it has requirements. Or uh, click this. Anytime you go to Nexus Mods and like make sure you click those requirements because you might require mods to work outside of it. Uh, so as you can see, it requires the mod fixer and a script extender. So let's go ahead and click mod fixer. Like I said, I already have it downloaded. Does not require anything else, uh, but you just want to click on files. Uh, first, before anything else, always check to see if it has like install installation uh, instructions. This one, very simple. Just drop the pack file into your mods folder and it will work. Not to edit any mod settings or anything like that. It doesn't require any other mods. This mod is required for the majority of mods to work on Baldur's Gate. Uh, so anyway, let's go to files, panel download. I'll also show you how to download with the mod manager. Uh, I just figured this is more useful for those who don't want to use that. Plus, you can find out where all your files are in case you need to like remove. And click the slow download. I'm not going to click it. I already have it. It's on my desktop. And you uh, see right here. I already like. Here's the mod text right here. You just want to. I use 7-Zip. Use your WinRAR if you prefer. Uh, I usually just extract the file to uh, its own folder by using this. Yeah, I already did that. I already moved the file and everything. Go in there, find the pack file. Um, next, you want to go and find the Baldur's Gate 3 mod folder. My directory was local to C, then users, then uh, this will be different for you. Mine's jet versus whatever your user is named. At data, local, Larian Studios. I actually had two of these uh, Larian Studios file uh, folders. Uh, one with space in it worked for me. The other one, I don't know where that's from. Could be access, could be divinity, original sin, something. Or either way. After that, you open that up and go to Baldur's Gate 3 and then finally to mods. And as you see, I just basically dragged the pack file from this folder. It was it wasn't here. And just moved it directly to the mods folder for Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, so if we're installing mods manually, you want a mod manager. Load order matters a lot in any of these bigger games. Basically, something at the top of the list is going to load first. So you want all the mods that uh, are tendencies for other mods closer to the top because they'll load first. So I'll leave a link for this as well. Uh, scroll down to setup, grab the latest release, it will download. And then uh, you just extract that and we'll run that actually. This is also another way to find your mod folder as well, if you're having trouble.
You want to kind of have this on the same drive as where everything else is installed. So I have it on my C drive. That's where my NVMe is. So to get to your mod folder from here, as long as it's on the same drive that it, I can just click go and then open mods folder and I'll bring it right there. So if you're having trouble, that's another way to find your mods folder. Much easier than going through all the different steps. Now remember, we went to 5e spells mod earlier and there was another requirement that's off site. Um, the Baldur's Gate 3 script extent. So click that and it'll bring you to here and download extender from here. Downloads. I'm going to send it to my desktop real fast. Downloaded. Here it is right here. Script extender. Cracked. Is. And so we have to get this DLL and bin folder for uh, Baldur's Gate 3. As you can see, here's the directory. Here's another way you can find that directory. Uh, pretty easy. I just, this is on Steam, obviously. I own it on Steam. Uh, so your knowledge may vary you know, which pro uh, uh, program you uh, use for Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I just right click Baldur's Gate 3, go to Properties. Go to installed files, browse. That brings me right to the folder for Baldur's Gate 3. And so we open the bin. All we're going to do is drop this file right in there. I have a script extender. These, not all mods need this, but uh, the bigger ones, which can absolutely uh, affect your game. Especially when there's updates. You want to make sure all your mods are updated, by the way. Anytime there's a big Baldur's Gate 3 update, you want to update the mods as well. We're also running into some issues. Most modders are pretty quick on updating their mods. Uh, depends on the modder, of course, though. People have lives outside of the game. Anyway. That's installed, so we're going to go back here and download uh, 5e spells. Let's scroll down to, like, see this is all the stuff you get for it. Um, and yeah, see they're saying using the mod manager. This is for manual, but a lot of mods do require this and Vortex might have some issues getting around that. But it's mostly for mods that actually require, like, a lot of intrusive work. But let's go and download this real fast. Sorry if I'm rambling a little bit. I don't have a script right now. Me talking normal. So I apologize for that. I try to stay on track sometimes. Hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. Fast. And I want to send that to my desktop for you. I skipped the downloading part. You don't have to sit through that. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you see, I sent it to my desktop so it's easier for you to see. And here it is. Bob Manager, I'm not even sure if you have to. Yeah, I could just drop the whole folder in there. We have to extract. As you see, there. Because the script center is not installed, but I think we just have to launch the class to update that fact. So I'm going to do that real fast. See when you first install mods, you're going to get an error saying they've detected installed mods. Generally, I like to launch the game anytime I install new mods anyway. Okay, yeah, so we launched the game. Now it's not having that error anymore. Make this active by dragging it from the inactive mods to active mod. Um, watch the game real fast. Just make sure it worked. It's always good to check your mods. Make sure you don't... Generally, like for these bigger mods that require the script extender, you don't want to load a file that's already been going for a while. You want to start a new game. It's not always necessary, but it's a good practice. You want to uh, save your order. 
and there you go. That should make it work for a new game to see. I don't care what difficulty, I'm not going to actually play through it. It's just for testing purposes. The actual mod showcase. Oh, let's see. Yeah, all we have to do is run it once and then relaunch the mod manager and just accepted it. That's okay. Tutorials. Uh, yeah, you can see right here, there's a bunch of new mods, uh, new spells, like for cantrips specifically. Uh, Green Flame Blade right there, which is always a favorite. Uh, I actually prefer Booming Blade over it. That's a little bit more fun to the game. But yeah, they're installed, as you can see. Simple. Um, well, review <laughs> this in the editing and make sure it's actually easy to follow. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I wasn't rambling too much. And the actual mod showcase will be coming soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one. <laughs>